Gerard for Russian language learning. Uh, this is our 39th uh, lesson together, recorded lesson together. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm using Duolingo, the smartphone application, and uh, so, so far I've reached uh, unit uh, 10. I haven't finished it yet. And like I also said in uh, my last recorded uh, lesson, we are now revising our previous uh, units, our previous, uh, um, I would say, lessons, exercises, grammar that we have already um, seen together. So we are now in our revision somewhere here. So unit uh, six. The last time that we uh, we had a lesson, we're talking about the uh, genitive case and the possession um, form in Russian language. So let's just have a recap. So the use of uh, genitive case. O mami est sestra. So here we see that there is this form of umami, uh, mama. So mama is uh, is uh, mom or mom in English, right? So why do you have to change this? It's because of the u, and when you say u, uh, so this means that uh, this is u in. Uh, so O U, let's say it's O, yeah. Uh, so this is a possessive form. Mom has so umami yes. What sister a sister. Notice that uh, in uh, Russian the language the Russian language there is no article. They don't use articles at all. Uh, no definite articles. No uh, undefined articles. And um, so this is how you you say that mom has u min u mami yes. For example, you have ya, which is I in English. This is the subject pronoun, subject pronoun I. But you have another subject pronoun here, not subject pronoun, but you have this ya in another case. We have seen that there were six cases in Russian. So you have the nominative, the genitive, the accusative, the dative, the prepositional, and the instrumental. So these are the six six uh, cases in in the Russian language. So we have seen we have seen of course um, the nominative because. Uh, all words that you you've learned, uh, for example, ma, mama, yeah, sorry, mama. My cursive writing is not so good. So mama, it is in the nominative. Sistra also is in the, the nominative. So all the nouns that you you see in the basic um, in the basic form are in nominatives. Yeah. So what is this? This is. For example, this is a, a notebook. Что это? Это notebook. What is it? It is a notebook. Yeah. Что это? Это молоко. Что это? Это кошка. Yeah. But uh, because uh, here we have this form, we use the genitive form. У меня, just like for mama, mommy, я becomes меня. Uh, let me write the minya correctly. Binya. So it's an M. It's an M, sorry. Mi. And then N. And then Ya. Minya. Minya. O minya, yes. I have. So I have O minya net. Now there is no yes, but it is. Uh, I don't have O minya net. Vadi. It's not Vada. Actually, I made a mistake, I think, in one of my previous videos. I said that the V, which is like that, this is the V in Russian alphabet, I said that uh, the the lower case is like this. No, it's not like this, because this is D. There is D, or there is something like, you know, like this. Um, so this is the in lower case. But the, but the V, 
is like that. So it is like that. Yeah, this is a V. So let me write, for example, Voda, Vada and uh, Vadi. So here we we're going to write Va Vadi. Yeah, but we have Va and then Vada. This is Vada. I could have used uh, the lower case also, that, that's not a problem. I could have said like this, the, the, yeah. And uh, so we use the genitive case when it's a, a negative statement. So we negate the sentence, o minya jest vada, o minya niet vadi because it's a negative sentence. So this we have seen, we have seen, we have done the exercises, we're just reviewing everything. U etavo malchika niet malako. Here malako, it is not written like this. So ma la malako. It's not like this. This is the nominative form. You have an A at the end. Well, you might ask why I say maloko, maloko, because this is pronounced as uh, as an something between an O and an A. So malo, ma, it's a uh, ma, uh, yeah, ma, la, ma, ma, la, ko. This is more like an A. This is more like an uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's not e, it's not e, yeah, sorry, uh, how would I say uh, uh, I don't know, I forgot my uh, English phonetic um, letters, so uh would be, yeah, actually uh, like bre, be, bed, be, uh, yeah, malako and malaka, niet malaka. So we see that when there is an O, it becomes A in uh, genitive, genitive form. O, vada, vadi, there is this E, this very hard E, so E. We see mama, mame, yeah. So we have seen this, how to change, we have a lot, but sometimes uh, there are more because like uminya, uminya, this possessive form, it it is from ya, it becomes mnie, uh, minya, it becomes minya, yeah. Uh, here we have something more interesting. U etavo malchika, malchik without the e is a boy, but in this form. It becomes malchika, u malchika, niet malaka. But there is still something uh, more in this sentence, etavo. Etavo means this, yeah. We know eta or eto, right? So etot, for example, etot. Yeah, etot means this. Yeah, so when you put it in the genitive form, it also changes. This is this this the word this is a demonstrative uh, adjective demonstrative adjective yeah it is not an article like uh, the yeah so this this is this the word this is descriptive so niet malaka because it's genitive. Let's look at another sentence. Utibia yes. So you have. Now we have another word. Maybe you you know. So we we have seen u minya niet u etago malchika niet. Now we have utibia yes. Yes means you have. So utibia yes sabaka ili koshka. This is a question. Utibia yes sabaka ili koshka. So you have to. 
use um, uh, a rise in intonation to mark uh, the question. Now, umiña niet nis nikoshki ni sabaki. So he does not have a cat, no a dog. So the ni ni, this uh, ni and uh, ni, this is the neither nor. So the ni, neither, or neither nor. Yeah, this is what uh, this form is. Ni ni. We have seen both. We, sorry, let me write correctly. So we have seen both. We have seen this both this and oh, this is another conjunction. This is e and e. So e and e. Omeya jest uh, e uh, koshki e sabaki. I have dogs and cats. So because it's. Uh, because it's niet omenia niet ni koshki ni sabaki, so I believe this is in also um, genitive, but it ha has to be confirmed. Um, it's tricky, and we will study more grammar later. But just consider it like this. Yeah, koshka becomes uh, koshki. No, well. Probably it's in plural as well. Sometimes, like in, in English, you say, I I don't have uh, cats. You say, I don't have cats. You don't say, I don't have cat, but you say, I don't have cats, because it's a negative statement. So that's also possible that it's just in plural form here. Here is singular form, here is plural form. But the minya is in negative form. Case. Nastoli. So now we have this uh, this na. Na means in Russian. Oh, sorry, that's not the way to write it. I'm also training my cursive writing. Uh, na na means on. Means on, like on the table. Yeah. Stall stall is what is stall. Stall is um, a table, that's the nominative form, or nominative case. Uh, when you write it na, so it becomes stall stolly. So you have to write this E letter, which is actually the U. Yeah, that's uh, the sound of it, that's the phonetic uh, sound. Okay, now stoli nichiwo niet. Nichiwo niet, niet means uh, no, but nichiwo niet means nothing. It's almost like a double uh, negation, but in nichiwo, 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 nothing. So if you say what, sto, so you say, uh, let me write it properly. If you say sto, this is a question like what? What do you want? You know, you can say this is what do you want. So what? You will say like sto, uh, sto, what, what, what? And then if you say nothing, so you just say this word, nicho. So ni, and then you have this chi, ni chi, ni chi wo. This is a g, this thing. Yeah, in uh, in cursive it's like an s almost, like a two almost. So not like this, but like this. This is the small case of the g. So nichiwo it means uh, nothing. Now uh, we have describing possession. We know uh, koshka vasha. Koshka vasha. Is it your cat? Your cat is is a cat yours? Uh, eta nasha, eta koshka nasha. So it is our cat. Notice that the eta, eta is written like this now. Eta, and this this is not an M. It is a T. This sounds like T in uh, in Russian, but it is written like a T, 
only in uh, printed uh, letters, Russian printed letters. So the cursive is completely, well, much different. There are so many differences here yeah, uh, in cursive. The letters are very different, yeah, different, sorry. So, где наша машина? Where is our car? Наша машина. Because it's feminine. So, now it's feminine. And... Uh, and the possessive um, adjective also is feminine. This is the um, possessive adjective, and you have uh, possessive. Uh, this is a possessive pronoun. So yes, guys. So in English, it's like this: possessive adjective. We know that. Possessive adjective, you have mine, your, his, her, it's our, you're there. But in possessive um, pronouns, you have mine, yours, his, hers, you see. And we don't use it as a possessive pronoun. So we don't use that. Yeah. Ours, yours, theirs. Notice there, there are like a lot of S's um, after like hers, ours, yours, theirs. But mine, it's mine. Yeah, you know this because you speak English. That's very good. Let's get back there. So let me revert to, to you know. Oh wow! I let's yeah. Here we are. So we were having fun with this. So we noticed like Vasha here. That's why I, I went there because Koshka Vasha. We, I could also say like Vasha Koshka, so Vasha Vasha Koshka. I could have asked like this, and it still would uh, be correct. And but in English, it has a different form. So, is the cat yours? Is it your cat? Is it is it your cat? But you are not using it here. You are not using this. Uh, you know, object, um, this uh, subject pronoun, yeah? Well, uh, this is clear. In uh, in Russian, you don't have this possessive pronoun. You just have the same for both for um, uh, possessive adjectives and for possessive pronouns. In English, it's uh, these are two different things, yeah? Like we saw in the table. So, koshka vasha eta... Koshka Nasha. Eta Koshka Nasha. Eta is also written differently because it is feminine. Koshka is feminine, so you conjugate everything according to the gender and number. Gde Nasha Mashina? Also Nasha because it's Mashina. So where is our ko? Eta Eta Vada Eta Vada Vasha. It's a question. Uh, vada is also feminine, Vasha and Eta are all with an A at the end. What uh, dvoi menu? Now, menu is different. So we have me, menu, menu, it's a, in English, menu, it's a menu, yeah. Uh, it sounds almost the same, but not quite, yeah. Uh, tvoi, why? Because it's neuter. So the gender is neuter. Right? It's neuter. It is neither masculine nor feminine. No, no, it is neuter. Right? So uh, because of that, you use this uh, tvoi. You don't say tvaya. So you don't say tva. Uh, t and then the twa twa twoi for example t wo u twoi or t v yeah twaya so this is twaya this is twoi this is uh, masculine. This is feminine way of saying your. Both means your in English, but because in the, in Russian 
you have also to change the the possessive adjective so you have to use the neuter one so what voi uh what tvayo sorry what tvayo menu a what mayo mayo uh this is and this is mine mine and here is mine yeah like i said uh, this is a new form of uh, moi which is moi or uh, maya why because uh, this is uh, for the neuter i think you got the point here yeah? and uh, we don't have to worry about uh, possessive pronoun pronouns why because in russian we there are none yeah there are none uh eta nasha kravats eta nasha kravats so now we see that nasha yes it's written nasha eta nasha kravats ili vasha uh yes why is it eta here and not eta like this why is it not written with with um even a so this is a good question we see that it's a uh, feminine because it's kravats here nasha vasha if it will be masculine it will be written nash yeah nash and then it will be vash so kravats from this uh, we can detect is a feminine now but still we see eta i believe it's because it's a question so here it's not a question but here it's a question also eta vada vasha so i wonder why it's eta nasha kravats it is i wonder why this is a big question if you know let me know okay so we have done a lot of uh, review here uh and what else we should uh, start with unit 6 now we have already done this we have seen the position uh what well, not the position but the yeah describe position so u minya u chibya u mami u papi u u malchika uh things like that the genitive form for net and na on on stali but here we are going to learn accusative case the accusative case and ask for more food and so on let's look at the guideline we'll quickly do that so here we have yesho chaya pajalusta so normally you write chai for tea that's uh, the nominative uh, form this is nominative but when you ask for more it is in another case so i have to put it in another uh, form it's chaya so the chai becomes chaya yesho chaya moti pajalusta please o vas yes chai so now you're asking do you have tea here is still nominative but here it's uh, genitive yes uh, is just sorry we're reading from here we can listen to this еще чая пожалуйста еще чай пожалуйста у вас есть чай у вас есть чай do you have tea здесь здесь нет чая нет чая so здесь it's uh, here нет чая here no tea so there is no tea here that would be in good english and uh, нет чая we see that it's a negative negative statement so it's a negative statement so for that reason you use a genitive form for chai so it becomes chai again because it's just nie chai it's just yes chai if it would be there is tea yes chai and now we have eta eta yevo stanka soka 
So here we have uh, something very interesting. It's a statement. So this is his glass of uh, food, of juice, sorry. This is his glass of juice. Eta yevo stanka soka. We have seen uh, moi, maya, mayo, uh, toy, twaya, twayo. And now we have yego, his. So his, you know what it is. It's a positive adjective. And we know that eto means, uh, it's, uh, it means um, this, yeah? For example, eta, eta stanka. Stankan, star. I I tend to say stankan, or it's stakan, stakan. That's the real way to say it. Это его стакан сока. Стакан, it's not stankan or stanka. It's stakan. My apologies. Это его стакан сока. Where is the uh, genitive here? You might ask. It is here. Stakan soka. Glass of juice. So what kind of stakan, stakan is it? It is a stakan of juice. So stakan soka. Because sok, sok is just juice. And this is how you write uh, sok in the nominative form. But soka here is in genitive form. Yeah, you got that. And you know how to say he is now without going in the, in the big details because you know the the pronouns they have like different forms as well in cases and so you will have he no 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 sorry not this you have he he which is a, a pronoun subject pronoun he and then you have his yes that's what we have in english but they are much more than this in um, Russian because of the cases of the six cases So guys, we know that if you want to say something of so sok is like an adjective here for stakan So we say stakan soka Stakan soka Pajalosta, so a glass of juice please stakan soka, stakan soka pajalosta. Okay, now let's uh, We haven't uh, seen accusative, the accusative case uh, till now, so now we are going to see uh, the accusative case. Ya vijou mamu. So we are used to ma, mama. We are used to this mama, which is mom once again. She's mom, but um, uh, now we have mamu. So the a becomes uh, u because it's an accusative case. Right? So, ya vijou, I see. Ya vijou. Što ya vijou? Uh, ya vijou? No, kto. Kto ya vijou? Que, to, means who. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. It's a question. Kto, who? Mamo. So, ya vijou mamo. Yeah. Kto ti vidiš? What do you see? Ja vidiš mamu. You don't say ja vidiš mama. Ja hachu. Što ja hachu? What do I want? Košku. Not koška, but košku. The ending changes. This is accusative, yeah? And now we have this. Dajte mi uh, jabloka pažalosta. Dajte mi uh, jabloka, pajalosta. So here we have jabloka. So ja, and then you have be. How do you do the be? I know that uh, there's the be capital in cursive like this, and then I think it's something like that, like a six. It's like a six. Ja, blo. Let me try to write it. Ya blow. Now I, I do the L blow. And then the K should be like, if you know that, blow. Ka. Ya blow ka. Uh, I think it, it's, it stays like an O. It's not like ya blow ka with an A. 
Нет яблока. If it will be in genitive. Here, what is in genitive? Uh, I don't see the genitive, but notice that for the first time, give me an apple. It's not uh, give to me, you know, to whom. The question to ask, to whom? To whom? To me. So to me, if we look here, let's uh, uh, let's look at uh, the grammar, the English grammar, so that we can understand this. Uh, this these are not. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Positive, my, my, my. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Ta -ta -ta. Hopefully. Ah, perfect. You can see here. You have subject pronoun, possessive adjectives, possessive pronoun. We have seen all of them. So I, my, mine, and object pronouns. Object. This is a subject. This is the object. Okay. So that's why we have nie, etc. Nie, eh, tibie. So ti. And then uh, how do you say how do you do the b? It's like a six like this. Yeah, tibie, tibie, tibie. This is tibie. This is uh, you as a an object pronoun. All right, guys. This is uh, this is getting more interesting. You can see that uh, Russian is a very interesting language and has a lot to offer. Uh, so daite minie. So, you're giving to me. So, to whom? To me. Yeah, to me. So, when you say to me, then you use uh, this object. Object pronoun, not the subject pronoun. So, you are giving to me, yes? You. Daiche. You give to me. Yeah. So, that's why you use this. And uh, normally, if you're giving... Uh, if you're giving something, die, uh, die, 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 sock, die, sock, die, sock. Well, we have to see what is the the accusative form of yabloka. Would be interesting to know. Is it already in accusative here, or does it not change? This is a good question. If you know, you let me know. Ты хочешь курицу? Ты хочешь курицу? So, do you want chicken? So T, we know what is T. Uh, let me write T in cursive. So T, this is T. It's not me. Me would be with an M like this. Yeah. Okay. This is you, singular person, second singular person. This is we. See the big difference. So T hochish, you want. We have seen the verb want here. Ya hachu, now ti hochish. Kuritsu. Ti hochish kuritsu. It's a question. Ti hochish kuritsu. Kuritsa. So kuritsa with an e here instead of the u. Instead of the u. So so the e becomes u. We have seen this. Mama mamu. Uh, mama mamu. Kochka kochku. And now kuritsa kuritsu. Yeah. Ya hachu ris i. Utku. Utka, utku. There was an A here also. You, we have put the the U. U, yeah? So, yahachu, I want. Ris, ris, it's a uh, rice and utku. So, it seems that this uh, yaboka just stay the way it is. And rice also just stay the way it is in accusative. And ana tibia uh, znat. So this is interesting. Ana tibia is not. Let's see. Ana tibia is not. Ana tibia. She knows you. So she. It's a question. So ana tibia is not. Intonation, right? But Anatibia is not. It's not. It's like she knows or he knows. 
that's the conjun the the verb no to the third singular person. So ana tibia. So tibia here is is in in is in what form or in which um, case? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look together. I'm going to look for now. Uh, let me go back to Google. Not this. Yes. Let me look for uh, Russian uh, Russian pronouns. Russian pronouns, and we will see. Yes, perfect. That's what I wanted. I'm clicking on it. Yes, we see here. Oh no. Here, here we go. So we see all the different cases nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, instrumental, and uh, prepositional. Yeah, we see ya. Yeah. This we know. We know by heart. Ya, ti, on, ana, mi, vi, ani. So we know. We have the corresponding pronouns here, uh, subject pronouns. But we also see that uh, in, ac in accusative and genitive, so ya becomes minye, minya. Only in dative it's minye. Minye, it's, uh, we have seen me, I give to me. To me, to me, give to me, it's me. So to me. But I have omina. Omina, probably it's um, genitive. Omina. And yes, now you tibia. I think now it's accusative. So the thing is that because they stay the same in both. They are the same, 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 same. Everything is the same. So you maybe you don't know. Uh, in it's difficult to tell. Is it in accusative or in genitive? But we know that the genitive is like of something. Like this is a this is a cup of this is a cup of rice. This is a cup. This is a glass of uh, juice. Soka, not sok. Yeah, we we can confirm that it's in genitive form. Yes, but uh, the accusative would be more like uh, when you are the subject. Yeah, you are the subject. Uh, no, you are the object, on contrary. Yeah, so on contrary, you are the subject. So, because she knows, she, she knows uh, who, whom, she knows whom, who does... Who does she know? Who does she know? She knows whom? With whom? So then it's tibia. Okay, we made it. We made it uh, till the end. And now we're going to speed up uh, a little bit because we're going to do some exercises. Well, I already did them and I can tell you that there's nothing to do with accusative. Although that this unit is um, about uh, accusative uh, case we will continue Miss with uh, genitive because the exercises are like that in the uh, Duolingo. I know it's sex, but that's how it is. So, uh, Miska Risa, we heard the woman. Miska Risa. Miska Risa. What is Miska? Miska is just a bowl, Miska. and Risa, Risa. is uh, rice, but not in uh, the nominative. But instead in Lisa. the genitive because we are saying a bowl of rice. So of rice. Yeah. So a, a bowl of rice. That's why. Okay. Miska Risa. Это его стакан сока. Это. Это. Wait. Это его стакан сока. Это его, его стакан, стакан сока. сока. Его is his. Это his. So this is his uh, стакан сока. Glass of juice. 
Stakan Soka. Stakan Soka. We know that Soka is in genitive here. Stakan Soka. Я не пью пиво. Я не пью пиво. Я, Я не пью. Where is пью? П пью. 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 So this is пью. Let me write it in cursive. So you have the мяки знак, the soft turning sound. Пью. It's like п пью. Я пью. Я пью. Я пью. Я не пью пиво. Я не пью пиво. I don't. Я не пью пиво. Пиво. What is пиво? Пиво is just something very tasty. It's beer. Okay. Миска воды. Миска воды. So миска, we know it's a bowl. We have миска uh, сока. Миска воды. Воды is in genitive form. Because it's uh, of water. So, vada is water. So, miska vade. Miska vade. Miska vade. Miska vade. Okay. And what else do we have? Это стакан пива. Это мой стакан пива. Okay. Here is very interesting. We have my... My, but my in the masculine singular, yeah, because stakan is masculine and it is singular. It's not like stakani, stakani, uh, and piva here is in um, genitive form. Why? Because what kind of stakan it is? It is of of beer, a beer of a beer of. Uh, no, a glass of beer, sorry. Mm -hmm. What kind of stakan it is? What kind of glass it is? It is a glass of beer. Uh, and piva is not with an O, but with an A here. Yeah? Remember, in genitive, you have O become A, and A becoming E. Yeah? And uh, also, we had, like, uh, uh, the absence. Like, you know, you have the hardening sound, and you have the hot, this is the softening sound, soft, but you have the hardening sound, which is like, uh, like this. No, not like this. Um, let me, let me see. Oh, let's see together. We will see together. We will see together. No, wor don't worry about it. We will see together. Just want, I have a book here, which uh, might help me to tell you already. Uh, yeah, it is not, this is like a, this is B. So I, I did like this, this is not good. So it's more like that. Yeah. So you have the one like this, like that. But the like, the, the one like this, that's a, that's the B. That's the B. Yeah. Okay, be careful then. So when you write, you never write this one. You don't use it. Don't really use it. It's like, uh, for example, sock. We could probably put this here, but they don't. They don't do such thing. And uh, uh, and sock. I think they, there's nothing like that. But stall. This is tall. Stall. What is tall? Is table. And we we saw that if you say on, so na. You say na stoli. So if that's why I was talking about if there is this hardening sound, which is like uh, understood, even if it's not here in the nominative, then you have to put this uh, you. Okay. So this this were like the transformation uh, becomes uh, e and. Um, O becomes A, and this, uh, like this, I would say becomes this. So far, this is my understanding. Let's move forward. Piva. Uh, piva, beer. And... На столе стакан воды. 
Nastali, wow, we have the example here. What a good timing. Nastali stakanvadi. So on the table there is uh, a glass of water, vadi. So both uh, stol and vada, they are both in genitive, so perfect. This is because of of something, and this is because of the preposition on. So that's why it has these endings. Perfect. Great example. Uh, there is a glass of water on the table. Stakan. Stakan. We know it's a glass. Miskarisa tam. Miskarisa tam. So now he, there is no verb in whatever here, whatsoever, because in Russian they don't use, uh, if they can avoid to use verbs, they don't use verb, especially the verb to be. Uh, I'm writing, yeah, like this it should be. So, miska lisa. So, the, the bowl of rice is, is there. Or you just say tam. Tam is there. It's there. So, miska lisa tam. Yeah. What miska. else? Miska, we know it's a bowl. Здесь нет чая. Здесь, it's here. Here нет чая. Чая. Because it's нет. So we know. So there is no... There is no T here. Perfect. And Maya, it cannot be... It cannot be uh, misku because this is accusative form. It cannot be miski because Maya is singular feminine. So feminine singular, sorry. Yeah. So it cannot be miski. It can only be in the nominative, which is miska. And which means bull. Perfect. We did it. We will move forward. Yes, here we are. We are back. And we are going to do another exercise. Let's do it. We're doing accusative, so why it's not started. Let's do it, let's do it. Every lesson brings you closer to your language goals. Keep it up. Surely I will keep it up. Palatience. 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 Sorry, it's not palatience, but palatience. Like this. This is towel. Towel. Palatience. Siostre. Siostri, sister, siostri. It's not sistra, it's siostri. Menu. Menu. Germania. 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 Vash papa i vasha mama. Vash papa i vasha mama. Vash papa i vasha mama. So here it's a good example about uh, about what? About the possessive adjective. We see if the noun is masculine, you say vash, but if it's feminine, you say vasha. Good. Dieti. Dieti. So this is a die and ti. Dieti. This is soft, yeah? It's a soft um, u. This is e. This is e, sorry, not Ye, this is ye versus u. This e, ye, u. Three, three, three types of e. So, what was the question? Дети. Дети. Учитель. Учитель. Учитель is a teacher. Учитель. Вода. Вода is water. Кошка. Кошка. Everything we know. Tim moy ghost. Tim moy ghost. What is ghost? Ghost is a guest. Ghost. Yeah. So Tim, Tim is uh, my guest. They don't say Tim um, is. There is no is here. Uh, Tim eta my guest or something. This is my guest. They they use this thing. You know. You see here. They just say Tim moy ghost. Tim moy ghost. Ghost. Учитель. Учитель. Teacher. Учитель. Учитель. 
Сейчас. Сейчас. Сейчас is actually written uh, say and then say cha s with the s. Not the best courtesy, but it's mean it means now. Мужчины. Мужчина. Мужчина. Мужчина, but it's written like му жи this is a жи чи не муж чи не if you pronounce all the phonemes but it's not like this you say мужчина as is this is not here мужчина and here it's not мужчина but мужчины Means man in plural. Okay. Menu. Menu we saw it. Main new. Main. Да, new. это мой фильм. Да, это мой. Это мой. Фильм. 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 Uh, here what I can comment is that uh, film is. What is film? It is masculine because мой. Yeah. What else? Читатель. Твой. Here is a your in masculine singular. Читатель. Uh, no. Читатель. Читатель. Твой читатель. Учитель uh, was uh, to teach. It was a teacher. Читатель. Here it's a reader. Учитель it was. Учитель is reader. Your reader. Твой uh, читатель. Твой читатель. Again. Твой читатель. I got it right. Анна, Дима и Тим, наши читатели. Анна, Анна. Дима и Тим. Тим. So this is, this is uh, Анна. This is Анна. And this is Анна. This is the name, this is the this is the name, this is the pronoun. So Anna Dima Anna Dima Itim What what are Anna, they Dima Itim Nashi Chitatili Nashi Nashi It's not Nasha it's not Nash it's Nashi because it is in plural it is in plural uh, Chitatil Читать, читать is to read, that's the infinitive of the verb, but here we have uh, the noun, читатели, читатели it should be. Анна, Дима и Тим, Тим наши, наши читатели. читатели, 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 but the accent is like читатели, читатели. Анна, Дима и Тим наши читатели. Читатели. So this is very Читатели. soft. Yeah, readers. Читател, читатели. Это их тарелка? Это их тарелка. Is it uh, the тарелка notebook? Тарелка... No, тарелка is plate, sorry. Notebook is... Um, это... How do you say notebook? Тетрад. Yeah. All right. So, what is is uh, is it their plate? Good. Where is your menu? Где? Где? Где your menu? It's one menu, yeah. Где ваше меню? Меню. Ваше меню. Ваше меню. Well, now we have something. We have something interesting to discuss about. Menu is neuter as a gender, yeah? By gender, you know? By gender, it is neuter. And we see that there is a Y. There is no uh, Vash, Vasha. There is no A. There is a Y. That's probably why. That's probably why. Mm -hmm. When you talk about uh, a neuter... Uh, now, 
you have to use another. Vanya, вот твое какао. This is adjective. Vanya, вот твое. Again, you have твое because какао is neuter. So Vanya, here is your какао. Твое. Vera, where's your cat? Vera. Vera. Где? Где? Uh, твоя, твоя кошка. кошка. Why uh, твоя? Because кошка is feminine. It's not кот. There is another word for a male cat. It's the кот. Yeah. Кот. This is a T, yeah? In, in Russian, it's like an M. All right, so let's do it. What это else? Вода ваша. Это вода ваша. So, это is with an A, probably because вода is feminine. So, uh, is this your, is, is this water yours? Это вода ваша. Yeah. Is this water yours? It, in Russian, it's very strange because they don't say, is this... Is this your water? They don't say like this. Of course, uh, in English also, it, it's bad. So, is this water yours? Eta vada vasha. But if I would say like, Eta vasha vada, I think it would also be. I mean, if you. But Eta vada vasha. It's important to know what is the correct one because if the question is more on the possession or on the on the the, the you know the sub the subject, so okay, let's move on. Where is Gidje? Gidje. Where are your things? Gidje? Your is, um, where are your things? Hmm. So we know your, it's Vashi. Где Vashi? Vashi. Vyeshi, no? It's Vashi. Где Vashi? Uh, things, it would be Vyeshi. It cannot be Jizni. It cannot be Uchitel, which is teacher. Jizni, I think it's life. And Tim, it's the name Tim. And uh, Krave, I think it's blood to something. So, Vieshi. Vieshi. So, one thing, I don't know. But Vieshi, of things. What? Здесь и наша книга, и ваша. Здесь. Здесь. Здесь и наша книга и ваша. И наша, наша книга и кни ваша. И ваша. So здесь are both our book and yours. Где э, тетради? Тетради, like I said, it's a, a notebook. Just a notebook. You know. So где Vashi tetrad. Tetrad. I think there is this uh, softening sound. Tetrad. And now it's tetrad. So vashi, not vash. It's in plural. Uh, Vanya, eta, sestra. Eta, tvaya, sestra. Tvaya, because sestra is feminine. So we got everything right. Perfect. So guys, I really hope that you like this uh, this lesson. Uh, we are uh, practically one hour in this lesson, but I think we should definitely do uh, the last uh, genitive case because then we'll be done with with it. Well, at least for now, and hopefully in the next exercise there will be. Sorry, uh, probably in the next exercise, 
then we will start with accusative. Although it is the accusative, uh, uh, as uh, the title of this exercise, we are not yet uh, using it so much. Yeah, so we haven't been exercising it really. So u etavo, u etavo. We have uh, seen this u etavo. Uh, mushini, mushina, mushini. So mushini. It's in uh, genitive form. Etavo, u etavo mushini. Yes, have uh, velocipied. What is velocipied? It's a bike. U etavo mushini yes velocipied. It's velocipied, sorry, but it's good. У них нет сока. У них нет нет сока. Сока. Why сока? It's нет negative. So we we got that. It's in genitive. This is negative. Yeah, and них uh, it is in the possessive uh, form. You know. Showing possession, so uni it should also be genitive. There. Umami koshka i sabaka. Umami, umami koshka i sabaka. Here I think there is uh, the yest is missing. Yeah, should be written yest here. Umami yest koshka i sabaka. It's not umami koshka i sabaka. There should be the yest here. But it's missing, yeah. Uh, that's right. Umami yes koshka isabaka. And uh, let's write the Russian sentence is unnatural or has an error. Let's write it. I mean, yes is missing. Let's uh, use the so yes. Is missing. Yeah, then I will submit it. But let's check uh, if some people have already been uh, speaking about this. Why no yes? And how come cat and dog are not in uh, the genitive here, but oh, when the sentence is negated. So here I took some liberty with the wording. In the context of discussing pets, people have, uh, you may decide not to focus on the fact of having a pet as much as on which pet or person ha uh, has. Umami yes koshka i sabaka also works naturally. So which is what? Which is why we have to also accept translation like umiya koshka. In some other sentences where it uh, makes more sense, of course, pretty inconvenient because these two do not mean the same and are not in interchangeable. Well, it says that it is not an error and blah blah blah, and uh, you know I think there should uh, there should be the yes there. The Где кошка? Где его кошка? Where is his cat? Yeah, and... Ни у девочки, ни у меня нет собаки. Ни у девочки, uh, ни у меня. So, here. Here, девочки is in plural. Girl. Девочки. The girls, yeah. Because normally девочка... Let me remove Девочки. this. Yeah, девочка, and it becomes девочки in the genitive form. So, ни у девочки, ни у меня. It's like neither nor. Yeah, the ни ни, it's neither nor. That's the conjunction. Uh, нет собаки. So again, we see it's in plural. Yeah. So when you say нет собаки, you don't have dogs. Let's uh, see. Ni u devochki ni u minya niet sabaki. Yeah. So it's in plural for some reason. So when it's talking about like. U minya ni chivo niet. 
it can be as well sub Sabaki, sabaki, sabaka, sabak. Yeah, it might be the correct genitive form as well. So you have to know. I think that's the that's the thing. It it is the same in plural and in genitive. That's why it's like that. O minya nichiwonyet. I don't have anything. So I I do not have anything. O minya nichiwonyet. Her children. So, yeyo, dieci. Dieci. We have seen uh, yevo. Yeah. It's like yevo. Now we have yeyo. This is her. This is her. This is uh, his. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Stol vozli derevo. Stol vozli derevo. So we just say it's close to. They don't use the is. So the stol vozli derevo. What is vozli? Vozli vozli means um, next to or near. Vozli vozli is near. Vozli vozli derevo. So, Dereva is the door. Dereva. No, Dereva. Dere is the door. But uh, Dereva is uh, the genitive form of Dereva. Well, Dereva, I think it's with an O. So, the O becomes an A in genitive. Yeah, because you're using this uh, Vosley uh, preposition. So, stole. The, the table is near the tree. The boy does not have a sister. So, ooh. Ooh. Malchika nyet. Nyet. So, it's not malchik, it's malchika because it's ooh. And nyet does not have uh, siestri. Siestri. It's not siostri. It's siostri. Siostri would be sisters. So here we know that it's uh, in genitive form. And let's check. Correct. У меня нет ни хлеба, ни масла. У меня... У меня... У меня... У меня нет ни хлеба, ни масла. Нет ни... Ни... Хлеба, хлеба. ни масла. Ни масла. So I do not have uh, bread, neither bread, no, I have neither bread. You don't say I do not have neither bread. You say just I have neither bread, no better. My apologies, that was bad English. And the cat does not have uh, milk. The cat does not have milk. The cat does not have milk. So the cat, ooh, ooh. Uh, kosh. Koshki. Koshki. Koshki, yeah. It should be Koshki because Koshka is uh, the nominative form. So, u Koshki nyet. Nyet. Malaka. Malaka. Not Malako, but Malaka. Good. U nich nyet papi. U nich nyet papi. So, u nich. They do not have a father. Papi, not Papa. Good. Ни у девочки, ни у мальчика, ни у девочки, ни у мальчика нет карандаша. Ни у девочки. Девочки. Девочка, девочки. Ни у девочки. Ни. Ни. У. У. Мальчика. Мальчика. Ни у девочки, ни у мальчика нет карандаша. Нет карандаша. Карандаш, карандаша. It's a pencil. Neither the boy, the girl nor the boy has a pencil. У меня нет воды, because it's negative. Нет, я, no, нет, у нас нет ребенка. Ребенка. Here we have to be careful because ребенок 
is an is a nominative form yeah but this is a genitive form the genitive form sorry and uh, you see there is an o and a k so okay and here there is a k k o and uh, k a sorry <laughs> i'm getting tired well it is a uh, very understandable because we are now like uh, 10 minutes past uh, one hour so we should wrap up so let's do it perfect okay we did the the free exercises let me pause so guys welcome back uh, uh, of the short pause so we did the free exercises here we still have a uh, free more to get out of this um, of this unit so I will have to end uh, this lesson here. We did a lot of uh, genitive uh, uh, case. Fortunately, not so much uh, accusative case. And position, position, showing position also, we did that. So I hope you like it. And we look a lot into the grammar, the Russian grammar. The next time, surely we will um, have more accusative and I am already looking at unit 7, describe what you do and say what you like. So, Nieravitsa to me is, uh, for example, um, likable, enjoyable, something. Well, I already did, it, did this, as you can see they are in yellow, but uh, I really hope we will get also to unit 10 pretty soon so that we can start learning new things, not just revise, but progress. And uh, there are like more than 50 units in this uh, uh, learning program, uh, Duolingo program. So much, much more uh, uh, excitement, uh, much more excitements. Uh, no, we cannot count an, uh, an excitement, so much more excitement uh, will be or oh, oh, awaiting us yeah or oh, wait for us so guys thank you so much for being part of this uh about the lesson i hope you like the video and i hope you learn a lot of new things so take care and like the video of course share share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that we keep in touch so let me tell you Barshoye uh, Spasiba, thank you so much. And Dasvidania, goodbye, see you soon. Daskarova, Daskorova, Daskorova. Bye bye, Paka.